home in a city that's held a motor show for well over a century, it can now boast to hold one of the best motor shows in the world. I can be nowhere else than Motor City itself. Welcome to Detroit. Oh, that's Canada. This is Detroit. Well, I'm now inside the motor show here in Detroit, and you can see behind me the world's press is gathering, ready for the launch of the new E-Class, which is going to be happening any minute now. So there you have it, five gleaming new E-Class models, including the hybrid, which had the huge thumbs up from Hollywood stars Diane Kruger and Joshua Jackson. So I told you there was going to be a lot of information for you. In fact, this deserves an information overload warning. So seeing as there's so much to show you, I'm going to start with some of those features that are across the board of the E-Class. And one of the first things you noticed when the car drove out at the presentation were these headlights. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They've lost that four-eye look and gone for the double torch instead. Really, really impressive design. And it's so striking, isn't it? And look at those beautiful aerodynamics. It's much sportier and much meaner. That same classic trend we've been seeing with Mercedes-Benz a lot. And to ensure it's a really easy and pleasurable driving experience, it's got all those driving assist applications as well, including the active lane keeping assist and that blind spot assist as well, which indicates on your wing mirror. So that brings us on to the much talked about E63 AMG. And just when you thought Mercedes had shown their hand, they pull out the trump card and introduce the sports package. I caught up with Oli Kalinius to find out just what's included in that. We have brought the all new E63 AMG here to the Detroit Auto Show. And of course, we're taking the next step in terms of performance, upping horsepower. If you get the S model, 585 horsepower but maybe the biggest feature is a complete new performance four-wheel drive that we call Performance Formatic that takes the driving experience to the next level. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that actually. Go into detail into that Formatic. We have developed a specific Formatic for the AMG version with a bias towards the rear axle. So 67% of the power goes to the rear axle and 33 to the front. So you can still keep that character of the AMG to be the feel of a rear-wheel drive car buy the car for all seasons, all weathers. Roy, how's the show been going so far? It's been fa fantastic. The response to this new car has been great. Uh, and I'm sure once our customers, the AMG fans, get their hands on it, the response will be even better. 